Two episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money. So welcome to the third episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before we spin the wheel of quick cash, Cash, I just want to remind you, we are trying to buy the Land Act Reservoir Facility next, coming in at $2,950,000. And currently right now, I have $864,000. So I need to make just over $2 million more million in order to purchase this facility. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning, and it looks like we are going to have to go and try to find G's cash somewhere on the map. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money and last episode we landed on the Navy revolver. So the Navy revolver is not on the wheel of making money anymore along with the stone hatchet. So the only other treasure hunt that's on the wheel of making money is the double action revolver. But what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are actually going to have to get that double action revolver. So this is the final treasure hunt that we haven't done yet. So so, yeah, I guess we're going to get the double action revolver in this episode. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do what is this going to be? Oh, this is going to be original heist. Now, we landed on this wheel spin last episode. And in last episode, we did the fleece of bank heist. But now it is time for me to do the prison break heist. So I got to go find the double action revolver and then I have to do the prison break heist. But first I have to go and find G's cash. All right. So I've made it all the way to G's cash location, which is all the way over here. I'm finally level 11, so I can actually get a helicopter spawn in. So that's nice. Yeah, I guess let me just search around see if I can find G's cash. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. That wasn't too bad. But yeah, let's collect G's cash. The first G's cash I'm actually finding on this account. And I made $16,000 but I also get ammo and snacks, which is also pretty good. And we're going to need some snacks for the prison break heist. So now I am going to try to find the double action revolver, but I got to wait on an unidentified caller to email me the information about this treasure hunt. So I'm just going to stand here and wait. Two thousand years later. Oh my God. Finally, I got the email. Jeez, that took a while. Okay. So you're supposed to get this email right here. It's labeled treasure hunt. So you click that and you're supposed to use the photograph in this email to identify Identify the location of the treasure. This looks to be a grave site, and that location is on the map all the way. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, so it's pretty much right in here. I mean, yeah, what a wide range, but we know it's at this grave site right in here. All right, so I've made it to the cemetery. Now, one issue is that it is dark, so it's going to be a little bit more annoying to try to find stuff. So we have to find like these gravestones. This is our main clue. We should be able to hear something once we get close to it. I've never gotten this location before. Okay, I'm starting to hear the jingle bells. Where is it? Oh, I found it. I found it. Wait, where was it though? Oh, it's here on this gravestone. Is it on? Oh, it's on the other side of the gravestone. Treasure tore our family apart. It ain't here no mo. I moved it. You effers will never find it. We'll see about that, buddy. We'll see about that. So now I gotta investigate all the clues to find the treasure, which there's three clues on the map. So, I mean, phew, easy enough. They're just making it easy on me. Thanks. All right, so I've made it to the first clue, which is going to be inside of this cave right right here and it's this pretty disgusting looking guy all right there we go one out of three clues discovered i gotta go to the other two locations all right so i've made it to the next clue which is going to be right here and look at that it's a beautiful shovel wow awesome love a nice shovel two out of three clues discovered you have one more clue to discover all right so i've made it to the final clue which is going to be by this tree right here and it's going to be an empty gun case okay wow three out of three clues discovered and now on on the mini map you can see a little bit of a treasure chest icon because a treasure chest has been planted right here which is going to have a very special something inside of it so we have to go all the way to that treasure chest and take a look what's inside all right so i've made it over to the treasure chest and okay there's been some controversy by this treasure chest i mean look 
two people dead, but that's okay. I don't care about you dead people. All I care about is what's going to be inside of this treasure chest, which is going to be this beautiful weapon right here, the double action revolver. So boom, there we go. We found the treasure. I now have the double action revolver. So just like the other treasure hunts that I had to do, I have a challenge that corresponds with this weapon. So for this one, I have to get 50 headshots with the double action revolver to earn money. So it's time for me to go to the Del Barrow beer and just rack up some kills, I guess. I just realized there's just this guy sitting right here. He looks pretty miserable. So I'm going to end his suffering. There we go. That's one kill, 49 more to go. All right, and there we go. I just completed all 50 of the headshots I needed to get. So at some point, I'll be credited with $250,000. All right, so after I completed the double action revolver challenge and being rewarded $250,000 for it, I now have $1,130,000. But now it is time for me to start up a prison break heist. So I got to do all the setups and the finale. So let's just jump into it. And hopefully someone will actually join. All right, who's knocking at my door right here? Ah, Agent 14. Wow. How did I get an achievement already for this? What? Invested your hard-earned cash to set up a heist. Well, that's kind of what happens. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah, the annoying thing about doing these heists for the first time is that you have to sit through these cutscenes. And when I've done this heist so many times, I don't really want to, like, sit through these cutscenes. So, yeah, I just get to watch Agent 14 swivel around in a chair. My chair, actually. All right, here we go. We are doing the first setup right here, which is going to be the prison break plane setup now last episode i won the drift yosemite from the lucky wheel from the diamond casino but i decided that this setup is probably more fitting for a karuma so that is why i am in a karuma right now now trust me if i have a setup that i can get away without a karuma i am going to use my drift yosemite because like that's my baby now like we won that car so there's like an emotional attachment to the drift yosemite now it's going to take some pretty heavy investments for me to lose this emotional attachment that I have right now to the Drift Yosemite. But me actually surviving is one of those things that I actually care about. So that's why I'm in my Armored Kuruma right now. Oh yeah, the people that join these setups are actually pretty high levels. I'm kind of shocked that high levels even join this setup. I thought it would have been a bunch of low levels that didn't know what they were doing, but apparently not. So I'm very happy about that. Now I can definitely carry my own, but if they want to carry me, that's fine with me. I'm cool with that. Oh, and by the way too, all the setups I'm going to do on easy but the finale i'm going to do on hard so we get the highest payout possible so we have to steal a vellum that's inside of this airfield and well we have to take out a bunch of people before we can actually safely get out of here so i'm gonna drive around in my karuma and take out a bunch of people all right i'm gonna try to make a getaway now i feel like my teammates are doing a fantastic job so yeah i'm gonna get into the vellum and i'm just gonna start flying away now all right i am in the vellum so now i need to just fly this vellum all the way to the hangar back in Los Santa, so it's going to be a little bit of a flight. Oh my god, the airfield is a little bit jam-packed. There's a car that's right there. Okay, okay. We didn't injure the plane from the looks of it. Can we take off? There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in the air now. All right. Nothing can stop me now. All right, so all I have to do now is just land this vellum inside of the hangar, or at least just drive it into the hangar, and oh, beautiful landing. Um, I'm going to give myself 9 out of 10 on that landing, and well, boom. There we go. We have made it to the hangar, and and there we go, setup passed. Let's move on to the next setup. All right, we are jumping into our next setup right here. It actually took me a few minutes to actually find some people to join this heist because no one from that last setup even joined this setup. And last setup, you saw it, there was a bunch of high levels. You want to take a look at it now? There's me who's a level 12, then level 14, and level 16, then level 7. Like, this has gotten really bad now. Luckily, I think this is the easiest setup for the prison break heist, but geez, I am not doing the finale with these guys. <laughs> There's no way. I'm not going to do it with three low levels like this. Gosh, no.
Oh, why would you wreck the Drift Yosemite? Why would you wreck the Drift Yosemite? That was so blatantly obvious. I don't know why they did that. They're out to get me, I swear. I don't know why. All right, so I've made it to the prison bus right here. The driver's right there. Okay, I got the kill. I got the kill. I need to drive this prison bus. This needs to be me. I do not trust any of these other guys. You can ride, that's fine, but I do not want you to drive because now we have to lose the cops. And well, I know the best ways to lose the cops in this area. Okay, I've never had this message before. I have to take out the aerial escort i'll take care of that i guess luckily i have a homing launcher all right there we go dead all right so now i'm gonna get back into the prison bus and now it's time to lose the cops all right and there we go i lost the cops now the rest of my team has to lose the cops and well hopefully they can do that efficiently but who knows oh wait they actually did very quickly so now i have to deliver the prison bus to the drop off and yeah that should be pretty much mission pass all right and here we go we have made it to the drop off well that took so long just to try to find a crew for this setup and the setup took like maybe seven minutes crazy how that works and there we go setup pass we have two more setups to go all right here we go we are jumping into the third setup right here which is going to be the prison break station setup so right now i need to steal a police cruiser and well i think the best way to do that is to actually just go here and dial 911 now i have 911 as a contact so now i can call 911 oh okay maybe not maybe i can't do that never mind never mind i thought i could i don't know why i thought i could you could definitely do that in free mode. All right, but I need a police cruiser. Hmm. We're near a police station. Why don't I just go there? All right, so this is the police station, but no vehicles like spawn in at the front of this police station. It's always around back, I think. I don't know. I don't go to this police station too often. Okay, okay. We have the cops on us now. That's all I wanted. Right, nice, nice, nice. We have the cops. This is probably not the best way to do this, but I don't care. My teammate right now is just in the middle of all those cops. Um, I don't think he has any idea like what to do. I don't even think he has the cops on him. I think it's only me that has the cops on them. Okay, no police cruisers coming after me, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to just drive towards a police cruiser. This is just great. Oh, finally, a police cruiser spawning in. There's the police cruiser. Hello. Hello there. Dead, and you're dead. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm taking your police cruiser, and no, my teammate's not getting in it, because he's a loser. All right, there we go. I lost the cops, so now I need to go to the police station. All right, and here we go. Hello, policeman. How do you do? Oh, my God. Wait, that was actually not a bad parking job. Just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. So now we need to go in and we need to go steal the prison bus schedule, which the schedule is right here. So yeah, I, this is what I'm taking. All right, so now we just need to get in the police cruiser. Oh my God, I almost just ran straight into that police officer. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You are not driving. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I drive because, well, I, I drive. That's just how it goes. My heist, my car to drive. See, this is why it's better for me to drive, because I actually drive it very smoothly. Just don't ask that lady. But other than that, everyone else says I drive smooth. All right, so I was supposed to take the police cruiser right here. Now we have to destroy this police cruiser. And there's some jerry cans right here. Lovely. So we're going to pour some gasoline around it, and then we're going to set this car on fire. Okay, this car didn't actually blow up, unfortunately. Fine, 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 fine. All right, now can you blow up, please? Wait, is the car even on fire? I've done this high so many times, and I still can't do it. We're going to dump some gas gasoline on top of the car this time all right all right yeah there we go yeah now the car is on fire i know for a fact the car is on fire all right yeah the car has been destroyed so now we have to take the schedule back to the planning room and that's pretty much done for what we have to do my other two teammates are doing something else i think they're stealing a specific car from the docks i think that's what they're doing all right we're going back to the apartment to drop off the schedule all right so now i gotta wait on my teammates so i'm just gonna chill out wait are we done okay there we go so pass we have one more setup to do. All right, so we're jumping into the final setup right here, the prison break wet work setup. Now, for this setup, once again, we're separated into two teams, and I'm on the team that has to go to the city. <laughs> I just wrecked that guy so badly. <laughs> I think that's my teammate that's supposed to go with me. But anyways, we're supposed to go to the city hall and we have to go take out some people and collect some stuff. Pretty much what I got out of it. All right, so we've made it to the building across from city hall. So we have to wait for the prosecutors to arrive. Wait, what happened? What? What happened? The operation was compromised. How? That's lovely. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. I assume that was my teammate's fault. The other group, because, well, we hadn't done anything yet over here. We we're pretty much 
much just standing there. We're just waiting for stuff to happen. All right, here are the prosecutors right here. And I am taking out that guy right there. And my teammate had an in shot, but that's okay. Luckily, I'm a decent shot and I'm clutch. So there we go. But now we have the cops on it. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh my God. Oh my, oh, okay. I landed on that. I, I kind of got lucky. I've seen people fall to your death doing that. All right, so there's a ton of cops that are right in here. Oh, my teammate died. Nice. Way to go, teammate. And when I mean my teammate, I mean the person that's with me, not the other people. Yeah, okay. This one should have been a Karumal setup, but I decided to be a little bit cocky. But it's okay. I can take out a couple people. Oh my God, I need to eat snacks. Eat, okay, yeah, nice. I, I can take out a couple. There's only a couple of cops, you know, just only a couple. All right, there you go. All the cops have been taken out. They're right around the deposition. Now I have the deposition. So now let me lose the cops and then let's return that deposition back. Okay, one of my tires have been shot out in my drift Yosemite. Yeah, this vehicle loves to just spin its tires already. And then on top of that, we're missing one of our tires. Yeah, th this car is just all over the place right now. It's okay. We rolling. We rolling. I'm just ready to jump into the finale. All right, there we go. We have made it back to our apartment. And there we go. Set up pass. And now it's time for us to jump into the finale. All right, so here's the board right here for the prison break finale. Um, Right now, I have 55%. Now, this is how I like the jobs for this prison break heist to go when I'm leader, at least. So I definitely like to be the prisoner. But then the lowest level, I actually would rather be the prison officer. And then the next lowest level, I'd rather be the demolition. And then the highest level gets to be the pilot. Now, unfortunately, we have me, who's level 13, a level 12, a level 17, and a level 36. Not the highest level of people. So this could be interesting. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in us, but we're going to see how this goes because not anyone was really eager to join. All right, here we go. The prison break finale right here. I actually thought about it a little bit. I was kind of complaining a little bit that it's just a bunch of low levels. I mean, yeah, that's true, but this is loser to luxury. We are not luxurious at all right now. I am a loser. I want to make that clear. I am a loser right now in GTA. As a loser, I need to surround myself with fellow losers. So yeah, it's pretty much me and the, the team of rejects, the team of losers right here. Now, some people say this is the hardest heist in the game. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, it's not the hardest heist in the game. I, wait, what happened? What happened? What? The prison officer failed. How do you fail already? I don't know how someone already failed. That's fun. Oh, not enough players to start the finale. Okay, never mind. I had this whole spiel about forming the team of rejects. So no, we are not going to form a team of losers. Never mind that because the losers go back to their loser ways and fail immediately and then they just leave. And hopefully the next lobby you get to see will be me with a bunch of winners and we're going to just do this prison break heist quickly. All right, so we have a new heist crew. Um, It is a level 13, which is me, another level 13, a level 32, and then a level 264. That is beautiful. And I am putting the level 264 at pilot. Now, if you're wondering why I'm putting the highest level as the pilot is because a lot of people do not understand the right tactic to flying this aircraft during this heist. So I'm putting the highest level there because I am going under the assumption that he's already done this heist before and he hopefully knows how to maneuver around the enemies that are going to come and try to attack him. And then I'm putting the lowest level as a prison officer because, well, I'm a prisoner and he's a prison officer. We have to go together and my goal is for that low level to be carried by me. Even though I am still a level 13, I know my way around a prison break heist. So that is why the lowest level is coming with me. Dude, the level 264 and the 32 have readied up. The level 13 has not readied up. The level 13 doesn't understand that this is life-changing money for him. Like, I swear, this is literally life-changing money. 130, oh, 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 boo-hoo. Oh, what did you want, more money? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, by the way, too, for these heists, I'm going with the default pay cut. So my default pay cut's gonna be 55% for this heist, and then everyone else is going to be 15. If someone doesn't want to accept that, that's fine. They can go do something else. Oh my gosh, I'm in a new lobby now, and the one high level is ready to go. The 117 is ready to go. Then we have the two low levels. Like, oh, oh, okay. There you go. Okay. I won't talk badly about you, JK. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. I was about to go off on them and then they, they, they just shut up real quick. All right, here we go. Let's try the prison break heist again. And hopefully we can actually like, you know, start the heist. Now, last time I was here, I said I was going to surround myself with a bunch of winners. I didn't necessarily do that. I surrounded myself with one, one winner. And that winner is just going to be stuck in the pilot seat. All right. So I've made it all the way to Sandy Shores in my favorite vehicle in the game. And yeah, we're supposed to get into this prison bus right here. And I'm just chilling out in the back seat. It's just only one person in this bus and that's me. 
because I'm the biggest criminal in all of GTA. Uh, I might be lying. I might not be the biggest criminal, but I am the biggest loser right now. And I'm trying to get this cash to make sure I'm not a loser anymore. I'm trying to, you know, break some people out of prison. Then Agent 14 is going to give me some money. Okay, why did you park literally right where you have to drive? Yeah, he just realized it. Yeah, yeah oh, oh, there goes the banshee. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, you moron. Okay. It's not always smooth putting the lowest level as the prison officer, but I have the ability to actually like carry him. And he just he just ran into that freaking tree. It's a stationary tree or bush, and you're only going like, what, 20 miles per hour, maybe 30? I think this is going to be a beautiful relationship. It's literally going to be me yelling at this person. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all it's gonna be. I swear. Dude, my voice is ready to go. I will scream if I have to. You can go through. It says stop, but you don't have to. Okay, okay. This person's so nervous right now. I swear. I feel like I'm back in the office again. I swear. I've been out the office for a little bit, but I'm back in the office getting ready to do a prison break heist. All right, come on, guy. So first job, you have to park. And then once you park, I'll take care of the killing. Hopefully. Probably. It's probably gonna be that way. Oh, yeah. He also gets better weapons than I do. I think I just get a pistol. That's all I get. All right, but here we go. Yeah, right now I'm an inmate. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He's got a beautiful, like, carbine in his hand. All I have is a pistol. That's okay. I'll take care of the work. Don't worry about it. Bop and bop. There we go. Nice. Let's go. I have time to carry. I'm going to need to go to chiropractor after this, but it's okay. Okay, what happened? What happened? What happened? The demolition team failed. Oh, my gosh. See, that's the issue. I put the highest level person as a pilot flying the vellum, and then I put the lowest level person with me as the prison officer. So it kind of leaves this in between queen position as the demolition and unfortunately we have a, another low level that's kind of like the middle person so that person gets to be demolition and well they didn't even start their job pretty much that's pretty much what that message is saying like to be honest a good pilot that knows what they're doing does not need a demolition at all the demolition can just screw around if they really want to but they have to do certain stuff so that message doesn't pop up and that person clearly didn't do that i used to do the prison break heist where i would park a kuruma right in here then right as the shooting start i would walk out now drive the karuma inside i don't know if that still works or not and obviously we're not doing that it's kind of interesting though all right so we need to complete this heist right now i think i have a little bit of an idea how we're gonna complete this heist and that is going to be by you subscribing at home if you subscribe at home you will definitely help out that demolition and actually that demolition will figure out how to do their job but seriously if you would subscribe that i would really appreciate it like i'm gonna ask these guys are you subscribed no okay that's what happens when you're not subscribed okay so yeah you need to subscribe immediately if you're not what 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 the vellum was just oh my okay okay so now the high level doesn't know what they're doing all right so if you don't know what the pilot does you're flying around in the vellum and there will be a jet that's flying after you as a pilot all you have to do is maneuver yourself behind that jet and you literally just follow that jet and that jet can't do anything to you that is all you have to do as a pilot that's the reason i was saying if you're a demolition you really don't have to do much but apparently the highest level in this heist does not know that when i did this heist in season one we actually i think completed it first try it was very very smooth honestly pretty enjoyable i haven't even really done anything in this heist so far like we failed now three times none of them have been for any reasons within the prison and i haven't even like seen reshkovsky or even like that courtyard where like reshkovsky is like just chilling out i haven't even been there yet and we failed three times. All right, I'm back as a prisoner, you know, just handcuffed and whatever. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go over here, say hello to my fellow police officers, and wha-bam, wha-bam, and then my teammate got that kill. Nice. And then we just keep going, but after this point, we have not done anything. Yeah, as a prisoner, all we get equipped is an AP pistol, which is actually not bad at all. I don't mind the pistol. I mean, there's obviously better guns, but the AP pistol is not bad. But, like, once you kill other, like, guards and whatever, like, it's pretty important for me to, like, collect those weapons. All right, it's gonna be important for us to eat snacks or at least me i mean he probably should do okay i think we cleared out enough of a path for me to go down and collect rishkovsky so let me go do that hey rishkovsky rishkovsky oh there you are there you are just just sitting there you could have like punched one of the guards or whatever but no nah, it's fine just take this pistol and just shoot all right so now we have to kill even more guards so yeah this will be fun oh my god i'm running out of ammo this is bad i need to get ammo now i need to like hit my shots too i'm not like hitting my shots as well as i want to be 
See, like, once a guard is down, I need to, like, collect his gun and then, like, regroup and then shoot people with his gun. I need more ammo now. I need more ammo. I am a low level. Oh, my God. I'm reloading, too. Oh, I'm bad, bad, bad. Eat snacks and then regroup. Okay, my teammate is actually surviving. My teammate has, like, all of his weapons. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's good. I'm not even going to take the body armor. I Hopefully, my teammate will actually take it. I don't know if my teammate can do what he can without it. Get the body armor. Get the body armor. Get the body armor. Where are you going? Okay. Nope. Nope. You lost. Okay. That wasn't our fault. The target arrived. What? Target arrived. What is target arrived? What? I've never failed this heist with a message of target arrived. What happened? I don't even know what happened. If someone could enlighten me on that, I would really appreciate it. I have no idea what target arrived means. Like, the target is Reshkovsky, ideally, but that just doesn't make sense. It's just right there with us. I, I don't know. I'm lost. But we had to do this again. Uh, another day, another time in prison, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm running out of things to say here. Hello, Bobby. Gerald, nice to see you again. Hi, psych! <laughs> it's not nice to see you. Ha <laughs> ha! Bum. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting lit up. Why? Why do y'all do that? It's so annoying. It bugs me when you do that. I wish you would stop. I wish you would stop. Okay. I don't know what the heck happened there. I got so bum it so quickly. It wasn't like that last time. Well, that's great. Thanks. I like dying. Oh, and someone left. It was the demolition. Well, thank you. All right, let's try this again. I have a new crew and well, I'm going to be honest, this crew kind of sucks too. But one guy has a turismo. So I guess that's something. Yeah, the pilot and our highest level is a level 42. That is not great. The prison officer is a level 23 and then the demolition is a level 32. I hope everyone just puts on their thinking cap and everyone can use their brains and work through this effectively efficiently and that goes for me too because i died once with that last group if we all just put it together this could be a beautiful thing this really could be a beautiful thing if we all just put it together but we have to put it together and i have to put it together with a bunch of low levels you know what i don't want to just complete the heist what about an elite challenge for the heist okay well i can't get an elite challenge if i just run straight into a car like that what, what, why not an elite challenge why not why not? All right, so I looked up while I was driving, which that was kind of an interesting experience. But while I was driving, I looked up what the elite challenge is for the prison break ice. I have to reach the extraction point in less than four minutes and 40 seconds. I just hit a guardrail straight up because I'm reading. Don't read and drive. And then Professor Maxim Reshkovsky takes no more than 1% damage. That's not on me. That's on him. And no player dies and then can't quick restart either. So, wait, what happened? I don't even know what happened. Was it the demolition that failed? I don't know. Someone failed. I wasn't really paying attention, but someone failed. I can't get the elite challenge out. I'm pissed because I want to get the elite challenge. But no, someone didn't put on their thinking cap. I said in the beginning, let's put on our thinking caps. But no, someone forgot to put on their thinking cap. I put mine on. I'm literally wearing a cap right now. All right, we finally made it to the prison. First time with this guy as a prison officer. He should be good because, well, I'm going to him, as long as I have my thinking cap on and I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna kill them and Oh my god, did we actually already kill all the guards? I feel like it didn't even do anything. And that's a good sign, because that means my teammate actually carried. I don't mind if my teammate carries. All right, Reshkovsky, hello. Hello once again. It's good to see you again. Um, Yeah, I'm going to give you the same gun, you know. Actually, how about you kill everyone, Reshkovsky? You can break yourself out of prison now. You have a gun in your hand. You, you got this. You got this, my guy. All right, I need more ammo badly. Okay, you haven't taken out this guy? Oh, okay. Oh, my stamina increase. That's nice. Oh, yeah, when I created my character, by the way. I literally made it so like my stamina was really, really good. And that's for one reason, and that's one reason only. And we'll, we'll get to that at some point, but I purposely put my character to have high stamina. Alright, so we made it to this point. This is the furthest we've gotten so far. My shooting's now a 20 out of 100. Wow, yeah, see, look, we're just getting better and better. Okay, I'm running out of ammo, though. Oh, wait, no, I have plenty of ammo. I'm complaining for no reason. I right, push up, push up, push up. What? What? Why did we just throw an elbow for no reason? Oh, because I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, God. Um, teammate, help. Oh, I should collect ammo. I'm being stupid, actually. Low key. Yeah, there's so many dead people. I'm not collecting their ammo. I'm just focused on killing. I think we got G's cash earlier this episode because my snacks are maxed out. Or at least they were. Oh, oh, shoot. There's one more wave of news. Never mind. I thought we were done. Oh, you want to get up, huh? Oh, I was going to kick him to death, but that's okay. Reshkovsky, teammate, can you get Reshkovsky? Oh. Never mind. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Dude, look how many bullet holes are in my back. I've literally been shot in the back. 
The demolitions buzzard is smoking. That's not great, but as long as we can just get out of here, like entirely, that'd be nice. I don't know where my vellum is. The vellum is nowhere to be seen. The vellum looks like they're very far away, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll stall, I guess. I think the demolition's technically supposed to help out the pilot, but I feel like the demolition is now more just trying to help us out. Okay, that was a little aggressive demolition. Dude, where is our pilot? Where is our pilot? Holy pilot! He went to Los Santos. I have to really stall. Okay. Which, I mean, I can. I can do that. No problem. But, oh, my pilot. I can freaking just drive away from the cops. I assume I'm not allowed to do that. If I could, I would do it right now. But I can't. We have to get in the vellum. I don't know where my teammate went. Okay, my teammate is at the wind farm. Okay. The thing about this vehicle I'm in right now is that this vehicle is armored. So, yeah, I can be stupid right now and get away with it. So, I am. I'm literally just driving around circles. Okay, this demolition needs to take out like all these cops in here okay there's the vellum there is the vellum there's a ton of cops though oh yeah it'd be really nice too if we can complete this now because if we can't complete it now we have to kill all those police officers again and i don't personally want to do that you might want to see that again i don't want to do it to be honest okay here's the vellum here is the vellum break break oh my god i touched the wing i touched the back wing it's okay just get in get in all right, I'm safe. I'm safe. Get in, guy, and then Reshkovsky, get in. Get in. Reshkovsky. 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 Use your head. You're born with it. Your head's not meant for decoration. There you go. God dang it, you stupid moron, Reshkovsky. Freaking just stood at the steps and just went, oh, okay. Whatever, just get out of here. Just please get out of here. Oh my god, we lost the cops. Okay, nice. I was not paying attention. And this is where we say goodbye to Reshkovsky. Reshkovsky, you're a little bit of a moron you showed us, but that is okay. We are jumping out of here, and hopefully you can fly to safety. We're getting paid at this point. All right, so now all we have to do is just land at the beach. That's all we have to do. Now, I can land at the beach because, well, I know how to parachute. I pulled my parachute a little early just to be a little conservative. Hopefully my teammates can do the same. There we go i am here i am getting in the passenger seat because well i deserve it okay my last teammate landed all the way on the mountain right there so I, as long as you don't die i don't care i've had it in the past not recently though but in the past i've had it where people would parachute into the blade of the helicopter and then they would die it's not a fun way to lose a heist but please get out of here do not shoot stuff just get out of here please return to the city i don't want to do this over i know they're kind of like celebrating that's like their fire please do not shoot now okay we were getting really close close to the mountain and i do not want the helicopter to explode get me to the city oh my god you're about to run into a power line okay okay you didn't run to the power line okay we're good we're good yep we have safely returned to the city without any issue i had no doubt in my mind there we go heist passed all right so i got 55 percent of the cut and that's four hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars. we did not do the elite challenge because well some people screwed up and i got a first time bonus of a hundred thousand so in total i got five hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars so after completing the prison break heist i now have one million six hundred and eighty six thousand dollars so we just eclipsed halfway there to buying the land act reservoir facility make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me try to escape a five star wanted level with the new electric bike in gta online